Hey everyone, welcome into the K0LWC Hamshack. Tonight we're checking out the Anytone 578, one of the most popular dual mode tri-band radios on the market today if you're looking for analog and DMR. But the question is, what kind of power does it put out and is it actually hitting the factory specs? Well, I got it hooked up to my Yaesu YS500 here. Let's give it a shot and see what it puts out. All right, so first, uh, I have this already calibrated uh, for the radio. There's also a 60-watt uh, dummy load here on the back, so it is a perfect match in that sense. Uh, first, we're going to test out, uh, let's go with low power on VHF. So for that, we're going to switch down to the 4-watt scale, which is going to be this very bottom scale here. And let's go ahead and key it up. should be about 1 watt. Yep, there you go. Actually, probably about 1.1, 1.2 watts here. Uh, so that looks like it's actually a little higher uh, than what it should be. Let's go ahead and go up to medium power. We're going to go to the 20 watt scale for this. Key up the radio. All right, we're looking uh, pretty much dead on 10 watts, uh, which is what it should be. Uh, now we're going to bump up to the uh, 200 watt scale. We're going to go to high power here on VHF. This is analog, by the way. Key up the radio. And we're looking at about uh, 21. Yeah, I'd give that about 21, 22 watts or so. So uh, just a couple watts less uh, than what it should be there in high power, which is 25. Now, the true high power mode for an Anytone is called turbo mode. Uh, we're still on the 200 watt scale. Let's go ahead and give turbo a try. All right, there, ooh, yeah, all right. We're actually, check that again. Uh, we're actually a little higher than we should be. Uh, rated output is 50 watts. This is actually putting out probably about 53 to 55 watts on VHF. That is pretty stout across the board. So uh, low was actually a bit high. Uh, the uh, medium was a touch low. Uh, high, a touch low, but turbo, high power, actually more than what it should be. That's pretty awesome. Uh, let's flip over here to UHF. With that, I'm just going to do a quick recalibration here of the meter. All right, there is UHF. Uh, same thing. Let's go down to the 4-watt scale, and let's drop this down to low power. All right, we're about 0.9 watts out of the one watt that it should be. Now bumping it up to medium power, 20 watt scale. All right, right there we're looking at about, yeah, about nine to nine and a half watts. So again, just a smidge under what it should be, but uh, pretty darn close. Now let's go to high power, a 200 watt scale. All right, we're right at 20 watts. And now let's bump it up to turbo. This is the highest power setting for UHF. All right, now here we're looking actually a little under what we should be getting. All right, we're probably about 39 to 40 watts. It should be 45 watts. So this also actually is a a little bit weak uh, in comparison to what it should be. If you're looking to buy this radio, check down below in the description for a link on where you can get your hands on one today. I've been using this radio for about a year now in my Tesla, and I absolutely love it. It's so great having a tri-band radio that can do both DMR digital and analog. Uh, it's a fantastic radio, hasn't let me down, and I would recommend it to anybody looking for a reasonably priced uh, dual mode radio for their shack or for their car. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe. I'll catch you again next time.